North Carolina is having more earthquakes. USGS is reporting a magnitude 2.5 near Asheville, North Carolina. Good morning everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Here's the spectrogram of that earthquake and we'll go to the signature and I'll bring it down. It was actually a magnitude 2.65, maybe a little bit bigger. You can see lots of earthquakes here marked in red. Uh, the most recent one was this one right here, uh, which is considered a slow moving tremor. And let me bring this up so you can see the other ones. We got a small one here, another one there, small, slow moving tremor, another one there. Uh, let's see, another one here. Yeah, I've been getting reports. People are saying that they're feeling a lot of shaking going on. Let's bring this up a little bit more. Another one there. And I'll have to bring it over so you can see them all. This is just one of two monitors that I downloaded data from. Um, this one here, V53A, is from Sandy Mush. This monitor is from Murphy. North Carolina. Yeah, I want to give a shout out to all the people there in Asheville. Asheville has quite a history. Evidently, it used to be named Morristown until it was um, uh, renamed and it was established in 1792. I wonder if I can find it on here. Yeah, it used to be an outpost originally. And okay, we'll bring it out. There it is. Um, and then um, because it was an outpost, many frontiersmen went through that area, including Daniel Boone and Davy Crockett. It occurred at 12.08 a.m. and so far 19 people have reported to USGS that they felt it. Here on USGS Did You Feel It website, there's Asheville. And doesn't give me a name, but intensity level two let's see here an intensity level three in 1797 um, it was renamed it became the uh, county seat and probably what helped boom the town make it really grow was in 1880 the railroad arrived this is what's called an interplate earthquake an area where no plate boundaries meet so they're not supposed to have earthquakes, but because of the uh, weakening of the Earth's magnetic field. Um, yeah, we've been getting more and more earthquakes. This is the second one that they are reporting in the last probably 24 hours. I reported one earlier uh, yesterday. Yeah, ancient fault lines are being reactivated. I also reported yesterday another very strange earthquake. Um, that was in the Gulf of uh, Mexico, another interplate earthquake. This is what it was showing when I pulled the files um, just a little while ago. And yeah, you can see all of them marked in red, all the earthquakes. That one's larger right there. Let's take a look here. Okay, and I'll pull it over. You can see them all marked in red. Now this is um, again from Murphy, North Carolina, and these are all, most of them, slow moving tremors. Yeah, the plates are moving. Let's bring this up and I'll bring it over and then we'll put them side by side here. The monitor on the left is Sand Mush. I talked about that yesterday. That area has a very interesting history. And the one on the left is from Murphy, North Carolina. Yeah, there's been a lot of shaking going on. Let me bring this down. This is an interesting signature here. I'm going to make that one bigger. Right there. Let's see what was going on. Yeah, good question. Oh, yeah. Huh. Wow. Okay, let's bring that over.
Yeah. A lot of hot water and gases. I believe there is some hot springs in that location, which means there's magma um, deep down below. So I wanted to see what was going on there at Murphy, North Carolina during that same time frame. There you go. This is 645. And I'm going to have to close that out so I can get it to show the date or the time. Okay, 645. Okay. Yeah, interesting. Hmm. So I know a lot of you have been feeling these earthquakes. How long did they last? And what was the effects? How did your pets react? Um, did you feel any dizziness? I like to know that. But as you can see, there are a lot of earthquakes that USGS has not been reporting. Yeah, a lot of them. So it's not your imagination. Once again, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye. Thank you.